it absolutely impacts education. Um, and we're forced to uh, bring in substitutes, um, which is never ideal. Jefferson Parish Public Schools braced for the upcoming school year with 200 teacher vacancies. Jefferson Parish School Board members say they've never seen a teacher shortage this bad in the district. Meanwhile, other school districts say thanks to certain benefits and changes, they are fully staffed and ready to go this school year. Andres Fuentes has more details. With summer coming to a close, school districts like St. Charles Parish Public Schools scurry to make the finishing touches ahead of the school year. We're excited. We're pretty much fully staffed teacher-wise throughout the district. Superintendent Dr. Ken Ortling says more than 900 educators will help the district's 9,500 students this year without the strain of teacher vacancies that other school districts in Louisiana suffer from. He credits a good working environment and competitive pay for the high recruitment and retention of teachers. And that's due in part because of our community's commitment to education here in St. Charles Parish Public Schools and St. Charles Parish in general that have passed previous millages uh, that directly um, fund our resources here in the, in the school system. Another school district without teacher vacancies, Bogalusa City School District. Superintendent Dr. Brian Hurt says that's due to switching to a four-day school week starting this year. The board decided to try something different to make Bogalusa more attractive to those teachers who, hey, I want an extra day off. Other school districts in the area say their vacancies are concerning. Well, I mean, our total population of teachers approaches 3,400, and right now we're short. Uh, I mean, it changes from day to day, but let's just call it around 200 teachers. Jefferson Parish School Board member Clay Moy says nearly all of the parish's public schools are short on educators. But solutions are in the works to try and bridge that gap in the state's largest school district. We've uh, engaged a, an outside company to help us bring back retirees. We have a number of stipends, uh, a stipend program that's been in place for uh, a year, goes on for another two years. New Orleans Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Avis Williams wants to focus on improving working condition for the teachers through monthly informational meetings called the Joyful Educator Collaborative. Williams hopes the meetings and other initiatives will help fill the city's vacancies. So we'll continue to partner with our universities and to work closely with our school leaders to uh, get teachers certified and to help them promote the great things that are happening in their schools so that we can attract and retain more teachers. Now some Jefferson Parish School Board members tell me that they are advocating for a tax increase in the parish so that the school district can be on par with other surrounding school districts and pay their educators. Back to you guys in studio.